morning everybody welcome back to the channel as you can see uh, this is a field of winter wheat x days that was subject to the fire last autumn and as you can see we're still quite a long way off from harvest we'll have a look at some spring wheat later on this week uh, a lot of uh, crop judging so it's taken up a fair amount of my time we also have been cutting margins and environmental areas and bringing that back to the farm to start to next year's compost so picking up some on some of those comments from groundswell from last week's video one thing that i am concerned about is, is that moisture level something we haven't resolved with our compost making process how to inject more water in to achieve that two drops of moisture when you are um, squeezing the compost i think we're a bit dry and, it, and it's something we need to focus on going forward it's quite a robust machine the chances of attaching a, a bowels to the back of the machine is possible but it's not something that we've got in place quite yet so that's something as ever that we need to work on but uh, still some time to go with this x days winter wheat this is on chalk so this will probably be our first field to start with unless the beans winter beans rush from behind to start the combining process which is what ha what happened last year so this is the spring wheat behind me and actually this is the field that we cultivated before played and drilling and when the judges came the conclusion was definitely that this field didn't have as good a population as next door so that's quite interesting because overall I felt that this was a much better establishment. However, what I'm really worried about is there's a lot of disease coming into these leaves. Um, I'm just trying to zoom in on that. I had a better leaf earlier. Maybe something a bit more like this. There you go. So these spring wheats have had quite a light touch as far as fungicides. Just two applications of TEB. So it is pretty light. No sort of SDHI new chemistry gone on. Maybe I've undercooked it a little bit. Certainly these thunderstorms are making me rethink. Maybe we'll have to go through with something a bit stronger at t3 we're getting close to that t3 timing ears are out but we haven't started flowering yet so let's cut to elsewhere on the farm so i'd also want to have a quick chat about waste specifically waste in our agricultural system when i visited uh, gabe brown out in america there was a lot of talk about enterprise stacking and uh, composting where you find these products from uh, sort of lessons that can be learned about enterprise stacking and one of the points they made at the soil health academy was that agricultural systems produce waste and it's identifying where your waste is and how you can best use to utilize that waste to generate extra income so in our system we are trying to use compost and one of the problems with compost is we tried historically we've tried to use uh, industrial compost curbside council municipal compost one of the issues we have with that is that there was lots of contamination both with plastic and with metal fragments as well uh, to bring that into context my metal detectorists won't go in any field that's received commercial compost so it really is contamination is quite an issue now in the field behind me this is a herbal lay and you can see there's a poly tunnel in the background so next year we're hoping to get the turkeys in possibly this year but this is where we're going to host our agroforestry scheme as well so this has been down for two years it's going to go down for longer i think that's the dog getting rid of the pigeons however one of the issues we have is these this is a chicory plant here lovely blue flowers it makes for a beautiful field but the chicory plant 
is quite significant as you see it's quite a, a, a lignified plant it's it's pretty robust you, you can crimp it but it's it's quite lignified it's quite strong but it's almost like a dock really if you take this one for an example and we are um, about over six feet tall now the problem with this plant if you see get my hand for perspective it's sort of half a finger it's you couldn't silage it it would definitely pop a hole in the plastic it doesn't make for particularly good uh, hay although it's got anthromitic properties so it helps worm control inside the rumen so realistically we're looking at this as the chicory has ruined this field for hay making so we're looking at cutting this putting it through a forager chipping it up and using it to create something that we do want i.e compost so we've already done this elsewhere this week so we've um, taken some grass margins that has all been chopped up and foraged and that will form the basis of our compost for next year so i'll just go and have a look and see what that looks like afternoon everybody this is we're currently standing in a field margin this is a buffer zone under css as you can see it's been cut and we're using this wasted area and uh, it's rough grass so it's not as if it's productive or hay making type grass so in fact we've got some it, this particular area in front of me did have some reeds in it so this area we foraged it straight into a bulk trailer and we've tipped it down the road and it'll go into our compost heap uh, while i was out here i thought it was also worth just getting a little progress report on the summer cover crop that got drilled after rye so we've had some really quite nice rains since we uh, rolled it so let's take a look and see how it's getting on so as we come down here we've got some interesting stuff coming through uh, looks like the flea beetles just having a go at it uh, looks like some mustard probably um, so we've got a few different things here uh, lots of just random uh, stuff that we had lying around in the shed uh, it's all coming we, ju we just put it in so it's got linseed some mustard fenugreek <coughs> which we have normally we use as a nurse crop for our all seed rape and some vetch so all in all a pretty diverse mix interestingly seems to be better on the headland than it is in the middle of the field but uh, we've got a considering it's midsummer fairly decent crumb here and they are just coming through i'd say they're you know past well, the cotyledon stage aren't they so all coming along nicely so leaving here and behind me got that crop of beans looking pretty good nice beginning to turn a bit so let's pop on pop over to the compost heap see where that was tipped so we rent this 13 hectare field out uh, for grass keep this is where we are just trying to uh, restore the soil health hence why it is the destination for the cut grass so I'd actually have preferred the chop length to be a little bit finer but the point is that you've got to have green to complement the the carbon of the wood chip uh, it has dried out a bit it was a lot greener when we cut it earlier in the week still smells very good so my hope is that it'll, it'll make nicely again the trouble we're having this year is definitely going to be the moisture so it's a fair pile could have pushed it a little closer to the fence over there but never mind i can move it again uh, the nice clover lay here as i said previously the point of this field is to try and help this land recover after uh, a, a long period of maize silage 
before I owned it. So we tried it in conventional cereals. It wasn't working, uh, it wasn't performing. So it's going to have probably a four year break under the CSS option and then we shall bring it back into production. So nice standard clover there to help it on its way. Thank <laughs> you.